welcome back to my channel so today I'm doing my first ever anti haul if you guys don't know what an anti haul is it's exactly opposite of a haul in the sense that I will be talking about all the products that are in the market or being launched in the market that I won't be buying so in this video I will be talking about the products that I don't really want to buy at this very moment and that does not mean I am encouraging you not to buy it if you guys are a makeup junkie like me and you like some of the products that I'm mentioning in this video please go ahead and give it a try now that all the disclaimers are out of the way if you guys want to know what products I include in this anti haul then let's get started so the first thing that I will not be purchasing is the Marc Jacobs Omega bronzer the perfect tan one it's a limited edition coconut range I know that this product has a lot of hype around it especially on Instagram and YouTube but I won't be giving it a try because I recently just purchased this this is the Marc Jacobs Omega bronzer in the shade Tantric and this is also an Omega bronzer and I just think that if I already have this the coconut one is just going to be a waste of money since these are really expensive they retail for $49 each I don't think I'm going to be giving another one of these a try now limited edition is something that is very weird and difficult for me to give up because I love limited edition products they make me feel very special I know it's the same case for a lot of other people but I like purchasing them but since I started this YouTube channel I've started purchasing less limited edition products for the sole reason is that nobody can purchase it later so the lifespan of it that I can use in my YouTube videos is very very short as much as I absolutely love these Omega bronzers and they're like the biggest best bronzers that I've ever tried they feel so luxurious I'm gonna give the coconut one a pass so the second thing on my anti haul list is the Kylie Cosmetics vacation edition collection I feel like the bundles that Kylie comes out with are nice in the sense that they have a few products in them that I would like but the bundle this one retails for $250 like what $250 now it does include the vacation palette but I feel like that palette is also very very basic barring one shade that is the pop of color that you can find anywhere in a single eyeshadow the only downfall of these Kylie Cosmetics collections are they come in so fast and they go out even faster than they actually come in I feel like their lifespan even on the particular website that they are sold on is really short so the amount of time that I will take to actually order ship it I can use it it's just gonna be like one or two uses for me especially in my videos so for me I'm gonna wait Wait until something more permanent comes into her collection and then I'm gonna purchase that the next thing on my list is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora glow kit now those highlighters are bomb but they are some really crazy colors that I'm not sure I can pull off on an everyday basis plus it's much smaller than the Nicole Guerrero palette and both of them retail for $40 and as much as I love Anastasia's highlighters this one's gonna be a pass for me because I as a person don't feel like I'm able to pull off such shades especially as a highlight the next product is the MAC metallic lips so this is a new collection that MAC launched they are entirely pearlized metallic lipsticks and I've seen MAC launch some of these like earlier as well but I think it's like a relaunch or they've added more shades into their 18 shade collection now these are um what's the word metallic anyone who watches my videos knows I am a fan of matte lips I just stray away from metallics I like to step out of my comfort zone once in a while but I will still pick a metallic liquid lipstick rather than just a lipstick now these retail for $17 so it's not that bad in pricing especially but if this is something that you guys like if you guys want to go for like a shimmery purple or a shimmery bronze and brown they're really good shades but just for me I don't think it's gonna work now that we're on the topic of Mac the next thing I will not and cannot imagine purchasing is the MAC next to nothing fan brush it's like a really thick fan brush that people are using for bronzing and contouring and I've seen it everywhere on YouTube but that one single brush costs 2950 rupees which is 3000 bucks I just cannot get myself to spend 3000 bucks on a fan brush yes it might feel extremely luxurious yes it might have a fantastic purpose but how long is that brush going to last you before it starts falling apart I've tried out certain products from this range and some of them are a hit and some of them mm, not so much but this one is just going to be an absolute no for me now since we're talking about big ticket items and by this one I mean big ticket item we're just going to talk about the Clarisonic. Clarisonic is really good. I mean, I've seen a lot of people use it. A lot of people rave about it. But Clarisonic just came out with a foundation brush. Not a normal foundation brush. 
is just a foundation brush head that you stick onto your Clarisonic and it rotates and blends your foundation for you. That is kind of cool and I've seen a lot of YouTubers use it, especially Tati. She is Glam Life Guru on YouTube here and she is absolutely the queen of reviews. But as much as the concept is cool and novel and it's gonna blend your foundation, obviously not as good as a sponge or something that you use your own hand on because it might leave your face streaky after a bit. But, 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 guess what the price of this brush attachment is? The price is $219. What? What? It's $219 for an attachment. And guess what doesn't come with it? Batteries. I mean, if I'm buying a $219 brush attachment, you might as well give me a few batteries for my brush, man. Anyway, so that's definitely going to be a nope the next youtuber product now why i call this a youtuber product is because i've seen almost every single youtuber use it sometime or the other they are the pat mcgrath products and they are what the youtubers and the instagrammers are using for their drip lip image they retail anywhere between 90 and 130 dollars so that is expensive but they also seem a little bit gimmicky to me i feel like if you use a little bit of mixing medium and some mac chrome powder or any other chrome powder from any other brand and a mac mixing medium i think you can achieve the exact same finish i've seen every youtuber talk about this product indian not indian just every single youtuber and they are the huda beauty lashes each pack of lashes costs 1300 rupees and i am horrible at maintaining my lashes i mean i will take all the steps to keep them clean that is if i can find them i always just remove my lashes and put them somewhere they're always like stuck on a cupboard or i find them on my clothes the next day or they're somewhere in my pockets it's just a mess so i cannot imagine myself spending 1300 rupees on a pair of lashes and then not being able to wear them like more than once or twice so personally i don't think i'm gonna buy the huda beauty lashes as much as i love them and would want them the next product is the naked heat palette this is the newest naked palette that urban decay has launched and I, the swatches are kind of off like i don't know if it's just one or two people who've got defective palettes or maybe one or two hundred people but the palette swatches are not that great like i've seen a lot of youtubers rave about it and say oh my god why are people's swatches so bad mine is great but I think they're like sponsored and they have to say it that way and I honestly don't think the palette is that great all the colors are warm tones that we get in every single other palette so I think that naked palette is definitely gonna be a skip naked one two and three were absolutely fantastic but this one the palette retails for $54 and if you guys are into the warm shades, I have too many warm palettes, but if you guys don't and you want to pick up one good warm palette, just look into the swatches, see if they've corrected the formula or if it looks a little better now and then you should definitely go purchase because Urban Decay is a good consistent brand. I'm definitely going to get a lot of slack for saying this, but my next product is the Farsali Elixir. Farsali Elixir is an Instagram staple, the gold one, the unicorn one, there are like so many other versions of and there are ways you can get it in India and I see all of these people on Instagram using it but to me it just seems a little gimmicky it seems like a little bit of a glorified water it doesn't seem very serumish as well and when people apply they apply like a lot of it to their face which is kind of weird because even when I apply serum I apply like not that much like people on Instagram do but maybe that's a little bit of an exaggeration of what they would generally use as well but this Farsali elixir retails for $54 which is quite a bit if you go to see and they have like a mini version for like $30 or something but that's really mini now don't get me wrong Farsali is owned by Farah Dukhai and her husband and she is absolutely amazing she is literally the queen of skin DIYs her skin her hair hacks they are so good and I like religiously follow her on Instagram but this seems a little bit gimmicky to me so I think I'm gonna give it a pass now the next thing I am not gonna buy is something that literally everyone owns it's the Sigma brush cleaning mat if you guys haven't seen my brush cleaning video I will link it right here in that I mentioned that there is a dupe and I even showed you how to actually use a product that can be a dupe for the Sigma brush cleaning mat. There are so many different household things that you can use to actually obtain the exact same results as the Sigma brush cleaning mat and it is quite expensive to just put a mat 
clean your sink to clean your brushes i mean there are different ways to do it so i'm just gonna not buy that one the next thing i'm not gonna buy is the makeup revolution diamond precision sponge so those kind of sponges are really in right now a lot of different companies are doing like different shaped brushes different textures and all that and that's okay with me but this specific sponge is 850 rupees and it doesn't have a little bit of a flat surface so for me like if i'm using a sponge just to show you this is a sponge that i'm using it has a flat surface that is round and big enough for me to cover surface area on my face now with that sponge it is really conical and it doesn't have a flat surface so it's going to be very difficult to blend out the foundation from your face you can get a lot of smaller areas on your face like under your eyes or here right near your nose or even around your lips if you want to blend the foundation but it is really difficult to blend your foundation on your face because it doesn't have a larger flatter surface the next product that is available in india that i've seen a lot of bloggers rave about is the face shop cushion foundation now that is like a cc cream slash foundation it is 1690 rupees if i'm not mistaken you can buy it off nika but just for me cushion foundations do not work i already have the maybelline one that does not work for me i have a couple of others i've tried a couple of cushion foundations they just don't work for my skin for some odd reason they are really really thick and patchy and it just doesn't work for me also since this is priced so high it only has three shades and that is very weird because for me i generally do not match to a single shade very easily so it's very difficult to spend that much money and then not have the shade even match you properly so the product that you get in the cushion foundation versus that in a liquid is lesser and i feel like it dries quicker as well so that's something to take into account as well the next thing i'm going to give a hard pass to is the l'oreal color riche palettes they are 1400 rupees each i think there are two or three different variants that you can buy the eyeshadows are dry they are patchy the pigment is not there it's just not worth the money and even if it was like less expensive i don't think that it's really nice because it would just be patchy on your eyes difficult to blend out it just wouldn't give you a good color payoff as well i really want drugstore companies to start coming out with single eyeshadows or good eyeshadow palettes like make them 1400 make them 1500 but give us good colors good pigment good blendability in the shadows the next trend that i did not really jump on the bandwagon with were ombre lips i mean i did do a few ombre lips especially with like a darker red and a lighter red or you know some of those but i never really jumped on the coral ombre lips or like the, i just i couldn't do ombre lips i feel like that trend just isn't for me which is why the next product in my anti haul is the l'oreal tint caress they are like an ombre lip kind of tint and they retail for 1050 rupees each which is really expensive for a lip tint firstly it also doesn't have the lipstick color payoff so for me that's just going to be a pass because i'm not really interested in ombre lips and these are kind of expensive and they come in this pen form with a really small sponge tip and it's just weird for me the next thing on my list is the sephora pro palette they aren't in stores yet but they just released a little bit of a sneak peek or it was a leak who knows because the makeup community is just so prone to leaks these days i feel so bad for companies because they put in so much of an effort into trying to market and release their products especially with these new collections that come out and sometimes these get leaked online earlier and it just ruins the fun for everyone i do not condone this but for makeup enthusiasts and people who are as curious as i am i feel like so now i know that sephora is launching a pro palette i know how it looks so i'm going to form my opinions already they're releasing three variants the warm the cool as well as the neutral and all these three will retail for $65 each now what's good about this is you get a lot of different shades in that similar warm neutral or cool range but since I already have a lot of warm eyeshadows and a couple of cool eyeshadows within palettes this is just gonna be a waste of money for me also $65 is quite steep especially for an in-house brand like Sephora because Urban Decay, Too Faced, Tarte all their palettes are under $60 usually so $65 is a little on the higher side the last thing on my anti haul list is the new Kat Von D Lolita eyeshadow. Now, I love Kat Von D's Lolita. I'm wearing it right now on my lips. It's my go to shade. If I don't know what to wear with a makeup look, I will definitely only pick Lolita. Now, Kat Von D's Lolita eyeshadow is just like the lipstick it is creamy, it's super pigmented. I've seen great swatches of it, but it's too similar to so many different eyeshadows that i already own it's also 19 dollars which is kind of steep and if you guys own any of those warm palettes 
you're definitely going to have this shade in one of these palettes for sure. It's also a single eyeshadow and I generally don't depot eyeshadows because I'm really bad at it and I'll usually break it. So I just generally keep them in their actual packaging and then I never use them because they aren't part of my Z palette or part of my like single eyeshadow range which I just pick up and start like using it on my eyes. So $20 for that as well as having a lot of similar eyeshadows like that is just going to be something that is going to be repetitive for me. So I'm just not going to be picking that one up. So that's it for today's video. If you guys enjoy such videos then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also comment down below tell me what you want to see next and if you want to see more anti hauls like in the next two or three months. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you guys leave. Click on the notification bell that way you never miss any videos from me. You can also follow me on my social medias at we make up life on instagram and twitter and at the rate tina tengra on snap don't forget to follow me on snapchat as i post tons of things there i just want to address one last time that i don't mean any sort of hate or any negativity towards any brands i love seeing brands experiment with new things and try and grow even bigger for me as a makeup enthusiast i feel like i have very very strong opinions on a lot of different makeup products so that's what i'm expressing here today please feel free to tell me in the comment section if you guys actually use any of these products or want to buy them and tell me why. I'd love to know the side of someone who loves these products because that is the beauty of the makeup community. All of us are so different. Our likes and dislikes are so different. And I appreciate everyone's opinions, positive or negative. On that note, don't forget to watch my next video. See you next time. Bye.